Hello there. Welcome to Where's the Remote's Star Wars video on Disney saying it's never been good at video games and remains happy with EA's work. And um, if any of you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and dropping a like below if you've enjoyed this video. So, I'm angry. I'm actually angry and disappointed with actually more so Disney this time rather than EA because this shows a sign of them giving up and they're happy with failure. So I'm going to go into this article that came from Variety, which is going to start off as the video title. So Disney says it's never been good at video games. It remains happy with EA's work. And this isn't like a video that's from a non-respected source. This is actually credited by Disney themselves. So this actually came from their conference call that they had on Tuesday. So I'm actually going to go into this article now and read what, what Disney themselves had to say. So the Walt Disney Company has a good relationship with electronic arts and has no interest in returning to video games something with which it was never able to demonstrate much skill. So their CEO, Bob Iger, said this in earnings call on Tuesday. That whole sentence itself is just incredibly disappointing. The Star Wars video games situation is an absolute mess at the moment. Battlefront 1 had a terrible launch. Battlefront 2 had a terrible launch. We had the open world Star Wars game that's been cancelled. EA have only delivered three Star Wars games, two console PC games, two big games, and one mobile game in six years. But Disney are fine with this. We're good at making movies and television shows and theme parks and cruise ships and the like. We just never managed to demonstrate much skill on the publishing side of games. Iger said in response to a question about Disney's potential future involvement in video game development. So they look like they very much want to be like hands off with this stuff. So they, they're done with the publishing of, of games and they just want to keep with the setup they have at the moment, which is just license and the rights for publishers and other publishers to, to do their games, like EA and their relationship with EA at the moment. So it continues to say, the Walt Disney Company has been shedding its video game development and publishing interests almost as long as it's been in the business of making interactive entertainment. Over the course of decades, Disney has created and purchased studios and publishers only to later shut them down. In 2016, Disney continued the highly regarded Disney Infinity franchise and closed down the developer, ending all self-publishing efforts. The effort continued in 2018 with the closing of Club Penguin Island and the sale of Emoji Blitz. Club Penguin Island, I remember that game. They used to be merchandised and marketed every time I turned on the TV. I'd see that. And when I used to watch Disney XD quite a lot. But moving away from self-publishing video games itself and they're sticking with, with licensing itself companies, which is not a bad thing. And you know, I'm not upset with Disney for doing this. If they're not the best company to publish a game, so be it. That's completely fine. But license the rights of a franchise like Star Wars to a company that deserves it and a company that's going to treat it well and a company that's not going to kill the franchise. We've had two Star Wars games that have been hugely negatively received by the general public. I play Battlefront 2 myself and I used to enjoy the game. Um, I still do play it every now and then, but it was such a huge missed opportunity. A lot of people don't know that Battlefront 2 actually had the potential to compete with Fortnite. And when it first launched, when it initially launched, it had more volume. More people were looking for Battlefront 2 gameplay than they were looking for Fortnite. But not people know that. But because of the huge backlash and all the controversy around microtransactions, because EA were greedy, it cost them. It cost them significantly. But now I'll go on to the rest. So Walt Disney also partnered with Electronic Arts in 2013, granting the developer exclusive video game rights to Star Wars franchise. The decision was thrown into question recently with EA's handling of a number of its Star Wars games. Star Wars Battlefront 2 came under fire for its use of questionable, more than questionable, uh, microtransaction loot boxes, and EA recently announced it had killed off one of its games, turning it into a smaller project. Coincidentally, Electronic Arts was holding its earnings call at the same time as Disney. During its call, EA confirmed that another Star Wars game, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, would be out this year, which is a game that there is still next to no news out about. This game is supposed to be coming this year, but I have no idea what the release date is. No no imagery, nothing around gameplay, like nothing. It was announced that it was announced last year by someone verbally saying that, yeah, that's the thing now, we're doing Jedi Fallen Order. You know, the idea the idea of it, the concept of it sounds great, but with it being in EA's hands, I'm not up. Me personally, I'm not very confident in that game's release. Maybe I will be when we actually hear some actual hard evidence and some hard news about it. But right now, news about Jedi Fallen Order is scarce. Iger seems either unaware of some of the drama surrounding EA's recent handling 
of the Star Wars brand or unconcerned when an analyst asked him for his thoughts on where video games fit into Disney's business for moving forward. We're obviously mindful of the size of that business, Iger said. Over the years, as you know, we've tried our hand at self-publishing. We've bought companies, we've sold companies, we've bought developers, we've closed developers, and we found over the years that we haven't been particularly good at the self-publishing side, but we've been great at the licensing side, which obviously doesn't require that much allocation of capital. Since we're allocating capital in other directions, we've just decided that the best place for us to be in that space is licensing and not publishing. We've had good relationships with some of those we're licensing to, notably EA, <laughs> and the relationship on the Star Wars properties. And we're probably going to stay on that side of the business and put our capital elsewhere. So summarising that article, so EA, well, Disney are happy with how EA is treating the Star Wars franchise. That that just that just says it all. Disney are actually content with EA disrespecting the Star Wars franchise. Absolutely observed. This has got to the point now where the director of Rogue One urged Disney to cancel their contract with EA because of their their mistreatment of the franchise. It's been six years and they've only released three games, and one of which was a mobile game. Six years. In the time where LucasArts was in the picture, we had significantly more games published three games in six years for star wars is a joke but disney are content with that i mean like i said before i understand disney's stance on you know publishing games isn't really for them so they're licensing it to ea but ea in my opinion are not the right company to license to hold the licensing for star wars but it doesn't sound like it sounds like disney aren't going to do anything about it anytime soon um, and if they are, it's going to need a hum- it's going to need a major push from the fans. It's going to need a major push from the general public to get that license revoked because right now they are doing it an injustice. But anyway, rant over. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. But what do you all think about Disney saying it's never been good at video games and remains happy with EA's work? Let me know in the comments below. And if you if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more, and turn on your notifications. And if you didn't like this video, let us know why in the comments below and I will take your feedback on board. Thanks for stopping by and may the force be with you always.